Hi, welcome back to your next video. In this lesson, we are going to learn about embedded system CPU units and its architecture. In previous lesson, we had learned about what is the embedded system and what are the components into the embedded system. The CPU is a basic core into embedded system and the loosely we can say the microcontroller is a fundamental core in any embedded system design. The CPU is made of instructions, resistors, the program counters, the stack pointers, the RAM memories, ALU and the flag registers. So in general, if we say what is the, uh, the CPU, we can say the CPU is made up of ALU unit, which is arithmetic logic unit. The ALU unit. So this ALU units do the arithmetic logic such as uh, addition, subtractions, division and the multiplication. And then this ALU produces some results and then finally it write back those results into the resistors and the resistors sit on the top of this let's say the ALU and this is the resistors. Okay and uh, then this is the resistors in which we can say we have a resistor let's say the R0, R1, R2, R3, R4 and so on. So there are so many resistors there could be uh, so many resistors and then finally we can say there is an instruction decoder. We can say there is an instruction decoder. And this instruction decoders okay which is loosely connected with the resistors and then there is an instruction fetch there is instruction fetch And then you can say there is a memory also. So this memory is connected with the resistors as well as with the ALU. Okay. Right. So the instruction is fetched from the memory and then it is decoded and then finally it is fed into the resistors and then here the ALU performs the operations with the uh, on the resistor sets and then it finally write back the results either into the uh, resistors or it write back results into the memory right so this is overall architecture of the cpu in an embedded system as well as it has some flags so based on those flags what you can say here it has also some flags here Okay, so these flags will be the updated based on the results produced by the ALU operation and those flags are such as the carry, overflow, negative, zero numbers like those. We will see these flags except in very detail and the every, uh, every ALU or embedded system have a, a program counter that is known as the PC at the program counter points a memory location where the instruction is being executed so let's say this is the PC okay it shows that where instructions are being executed right and the function of the program counter is to point to the address of the next instructions to be executed let's say if the instruction is executing this one then the program counter will point out that the next instruction which will be the executed here and then we have here the instruction decoder after the instruction fetch so the once program counter directs the instruction address from where it will fetch the instruction and then finally it goes back into the instruction decoder which interpret the instruction fetched into the cpu 
and uh, after the interpretation of the instructions then according to the instructions it finally performs the operation into the ALU right so the operations which can be performed in the ALU of course the addition subtractions multiplications and the move operations etc the CPU can perform CPU can perform the operations such as shifting the data from memory to registers registers to memory or ALU to the registers are writing back to the memory right so here is another uh, the uh, here is another question what is the architecture uh, in which the CPU transfers the data from memory to the registers or what is the architecture how the CPU fetch the code and also how CPU fetch a data since the memory has code and plus your data okay so this is the there is architecture which is known as von Neumann architecture von Neumann architecture and then we have another architecture which is very famously known as a Harvard architecture So these two architectures are very famous architecture, one Newman architecture and the Harvard architecture. In next video, we will discuss about what is the differences between one Newman's and the Harvard architecture. So this is all about in this video in which we have discussed what is the CPU unit and its architecture, how loosely it is made. Okay, so this is not a complete architecture of the design of the CPU, but the usually we can say the CPU is made up of ALU registers, instruction decoder, instruction features, flags, and of course the memory. So thank you so much for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe this channel so that you can get updates directly into your inbox. Bye bye. Have a nice day.